Hello, Tell Mange back again with JU88 over Murmansk in Isle 2 Stormovic 1946 Dark Blue World. And um, we're about to embark on a daring rescue mission. All will be revealed as I read the mission briefing. One of our JU88s was shot up over a mission to Murmansk a few hours ago. The crew managed to land the damaged aircraft at Uraguba. You and Hartsheim will attempt to rescue to get them back home. Hartsheim will try to attack enemy artillery units hammering the airfield while you land and get Schmidt's crew out. Land at Uraguba, turn around, take off and return to base to complete this mission. Interesting, so not bombing anything today, we're rescuing. Um, so all we have to do is take off, fly the usual routes down to this airfield here, land at the airfield, uh, wait a few minutes few minutes or a few seconds to pretend that the the crew are getting in the aircraft because they're not really there in the game the game doesn't support that kind of thing um, and then we take off head back home land and get drunk on schnapps that's the plan um, I don't know what kind of resistance we're going to expect it says there are artillery artillery units hammering the airfield so that sounds a bit dangerous don't know about any um, enemy fighters or anything so we'll just have to get airborne and see how it goes so let's do that I'm gonna click fly and I'll see you in a plane and here we are and I've just remembered that my joystick is not plugged in excellent uh, one moment uh, whoa hold on hold on let me I'll pause it Jesus Christ so unprepared I hope it works. Nah. Nah. Hold on, let me fix this. Alright, I'm back. I had to restart the game to make the joystick work. Um, so let's go on with it. Engine starting. It's snowing, which is nice. Engine number two on. There's me, there's uh, Hartheim behind me, and I believe Schmidt is the person we're supposed to be rescuing. I'm going to do this now before I forget, we need to name our crew. Um, actually, I'll wait until we're airborne to do that. We've got a replacement now that the rear gunner died in the last mission. Let's throttle up. Need a little bit of left rudder to counteract the engine torque. See the snow now shooting past. Uh, passing all the parked planes and off we go. Gear up. Check the map so we're on course. Oh. Makes a nice change having the snow effect. Quite like quite um, like that. Reduce the throttle a bit. Flaps automatically raise once we get over 240 kilometers an hour. Okay, so we don't, we won't need to climb too high for this mission because we're not bombing anything or dive bombing anything. So I guess I'll climb to maybe a thousand meters. My. Friend is just barely visible in the background there. No bombs, so it should be fairly light. I have brought 100% fuel, I forgot to change that, but it's probably for the best anyway. And throttle down to 90 and prop pitch down to 90. There we go. Okay, so let's um, wait until we make our turn here and then I'll put the level stabilizer on so we can. Think about naming the crew. There we go. Okay, just put the 
on Save Lives Run. Okay, so this first of all is me. We all know who I am, or you should do. I mentioned my name in the start of the video. Um, uh, yeah, anyway, so we need to name this person who is the bombardier slash navigator. I am going to call him uh, Pants. It's as good as name, good a name as any, and it's a fairly stereotypical German name. So this guy's Hans. I'm sure I'm, I'm probably going to remember these names. So you have to remind me. Um, and then we've got. Is this guy different? It's, it's the same guy. I don't think there are two people in the in the front. Yeah, it's the same guy. So that's Hans again, but it's just he's got a gunner position as well. Uh, we've got a rear gunner who shall be named Helmut. And then the guy who has to lie down on his belly for the entire flight. And his name shall be Wolfgang. Wolfgang in a belly. There you go. So, me, Hans, Helmut, and Wolfgang. That is my crew. Let's hope I remember their names. We're drifting off course here as well, so let's try and sort that out. Also climb a little bit. Finding the airfield might be a bit tricky in these conditions, but um, we'll see how we go. And I guess ideally I'd like to wait for my friend to catch up. I don't know where he is. Because uh, he has to on the artillery before we land. So I'm going to slow down a little bit. Alright, so time to skip ahead. Um, and I'll see you when we get closer to our objective. Okay, so here we are, kind of coming up to um, the airfield now. I think my friend still hasn't caught up, still behind me somewhere. So I'm going to need to kind of circle around until he makes his appearance. Don't really want to land on the airfield if there's going to be a lot of lot of artillery kind of um, firing at me. That would be bad. So to trim out the rudder a little bit. That little uh, ball there shows the rudder trim or the rudder kind of direction. Keep in the middle, and you should stay on a. fairly straight course but it's a bit uh, windy today not optimum conditions for flying so hopefully that would mean there aren't any enemy fighters around where is my friend I don't know yeah, so I'm just going to kind of make a circle here Hope he turns up. I've forgotten his name already. Uh, Hartzweg or something like that, I can't remember. I do know that we've got Hans, Helmut and Wolfgang in the plane now, so I've remembered their names. Uh, where is this guy? Where are you? Nah. Keeps 
circling of this large body of water. Looks like there's some kind of port down there. I would assume that this is um, all in um, all German held territory. If uh, the crew wasn't captured straight away when they landed on this airfield. Ah, so there's the water. It looks like he's coming in now. Should be off to my left somewhere. And we're kind of climbing, which I don't really want to do because we need to land. So I need to lose some altitude here. There he is, there he is, I see him. Okay, I'm going to follow this guy, watch what he does then make my landing attempt. Uh, where you go? There he is. where this artillery is exactly. Well, I guess we'll soon find out. Fuel looking very good. Yeah, he's making a turn to the right now. get too close to him. Let's hope. Primary target failed? What? Uh, we'll ignore that. Don't know what that's about. Oh, there you go, bombs away. This should be him. Okay, so he decided to bomb a um, forest or something, it looks like. No idea if he actually hit anything. We'll just have to hope he did, and... We now, we now need to land. There's the airfield. So let's dive. And we can swing around and attempt a landing in these difficult conditions. We're kind of diving pretty steeply though, so we uh, need to pull off a bit. I haven't had any signs of any resistance yet. Throttle up. Okay. Let's go and rescue Schmidt, whatever his name is. I think it's Schmidt or something similar. There's the airfield, we've got a good course here. To reduce some speed, reduce some altitude. Oh man, we're going too fast. Put the gear down. Too fast to put the flaps down. Okay, flaps can go down now. Come on, come on. 
I see explosions in the distance. Come on, come on, come on. Gently, 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 gently. Okay, we're on the ground. Things are being, oh my God, look at that. Everything's blowing up around me. Uh, uh, come on, get in. We need to turn around as well to take off. Okay, or wait five seconds. Ten seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They're in. Let's go. Spin around. Flashes going off. Okay, good. Head in the right direction. Flaps to take off. Full power. Get on the runway. I hope we've got enough runway. I'm kind of off it in a minute. I don't want to stop bouncing around. Tail feels like it's up now. And we should be able to lift off. Yes, gear up. We're away. We are away. Wow. That was fairly close, especially with the artillery round landing just in front of me as I was landing. If I'd been a few seconds quicker in landing, that would have been me blowing up. But uh, luckily I was able to land, get the crew on board, and get in the air again. Great. I don't know if my, my comrades actually destroyed any artillery because there were quite a few explosions going off at that airfield. Um, but that should be that, barring any fighters turn, turning up. Um, which would be unlikely, I think, with these weather conditions. Um, it's time to head home. You owe me few pints at the bar, Schmidt, wherever you are. I don't know if there's enough room in this plane for more than the, the crew. I guess you could kind of squeeze in somewhere. Uh, but yeah, that's it. So, um, time to skip ahead. And I'll rejoin you, hopefully, when it's time to land. just thought I'd show you um, the artillery. This is what my friend was supposed to destroy. Looks like he completely missed all the guns. Did manage to destroy a truck though, so... Uh, better than nothing, I guess. That's the airfield they're firing at in the distance. Yeah, so um, that was the, the artillery. Uh, which was undamaged. There you go. Oh, and this is the airfield. So this is where we landed. You can see them. Not particularly accurate artillery fire. They managed to... Oh, there are some, some guns there. I assume they're ours. Uh, destroyed some buildings, some planes. Some trees, half track. So this was the scene of our impressive rescue. There we go. Right, here we are back at the uh, back at our airbase near Kirkenes, or however the hell you say it. Um, just about to turn. to the uh, landing course which is a heading of 36 degrees so let's try this mapless uh, turn to 36 degrees lose some altitude but 
36 degrees there. So we now should be roughly on course for our airfield. If we can spot it in this Merc, there's my friend, he's just um, come back. After failing miserably to um, hit any artillery. And I am hoping that this airfield is going to show up in the distance. It feels like I'm moving, it's saying I'm on normal speed, but it feels like it's kind of not twice speed, but uh, what's that? That's some trees. I might need to check the map, I feel a bit lost. I don't know where this airfield is, maybe we just haven't reached it yet. Just trying to look around, spot it somewhere. If I've maybe taken the time to learn the layout of where these forests are in relation to the airfields. might be a bit easier. We've just as way off course actually, we're now going at 60 degrees, I'm going to have to use the map. Oh yeah, it's off to our left. Silly me, wasn't keeping an eye on the compass. Course here, then we have to take a sharp right. Let's slow down a bit. Should be just over here. Not that I can see it. Whoop, watch the altitude. Better ask for a landing permission actually, just for immersion. Need to turn, try not to crash. Da, 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 da. Don't turn too sharply, don't want to stall at this height. Right, so it should be dead ahead now. And it is, there it is, good. Gear down. Flaps to landing. Reduce some speed. This should be a doddle. We've just landed on um, an airfield that has been battered by enemy artillery, so this should be easy in comparison. Plus, this is a much wider airfield. A bit high, need to lose altitude a bit. Making weird concentration noises. I don't know if anybody. Oh, we've landed. Good. Um, yeah, I don't know if anybody else makes those kind of noises when they're concentrating, like I do. I usually go ba 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 or da 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 da. It's a bit weird. Maybe I should try and cut it out. Um, but anyway, we've landed. Let's pull into these guys. Look like fellow um, Ju 88s. Try not to hit any of them. There's a gap here if we can try and turn around. There we go. There's some Stukas. We haven't actually seen them flying yet, don't know why. There's a man in that truck. And um, that's it. Engine's off. Time to get into the officer's mess, warm ourselves up, and get pissed on schnapps. Let's do it. Okay. Quit mission. So, yeah, there we go. That was quite an interesting mission. i um, not done anything like that before. Makes a change from bombing stuff and uh, shooting planes. Um, no kills, obviously. 
Um, but uh, total emissions flown, that should now be five. We've died twice. Um, and that's that. So thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you in the next installment.